everyone sorry for starting this vlog on my phone i don't really know what's going to be in this vlog it's september which means a fashion month and obviously things are a bit different this year because of like coronavirus and there's a lot less shows and the shows are having a lot less models i'm on my way to my first casting in london this is actually my dream show so i've got all my fingers crossed I'm just going to see what happens i'm going to vlog fashion meet wherever i just do london or wherever i do other cities as well so I'm not sure if they'll all be in the same vlog or not. I vlogged last season as well. So if you haven't seen that video, I'll put it up here. If I get any shows, I'm gonna like vlog behind the scenes and stuff as well. Fashion month is actually my favorite time of the year. Like I love doing shows. Shows are like my favorite type of modeling. So I'm super excited and we've just got to see how it goes really. Nothing is guaranteed. It's an exciting time and I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. This is currently my view walking. It's so pretty and quiet at the moment because it's a Sunday. Guys, I'm getting a COVID test right now. I can't believe it. I can't even express like how excited I am right now. I just got home from my casting that I went to. I got confirmed. Okay, I'll start from the beginning. So I went to this casting. This show is my dream, dream, dream show. Like everyone knows this show is my dream ever show to walk. I'm not even going to say the name until the day because you might know from the title, but oh, there's one thing that's in the way at the moment. But anyway, I'll get to it. I get the casting through yesterday. For this show because my bookers have been like pushing for me so much because they know like how badly i wanted this show and yeah so we do the cast and we do our walk and then i get called back like to go and see him again and walk again and, and like messing around with my hair all good signs and then i have to go and get a covid test done and i haven't had one of these tests done yet and there was like a nurse and she did it and oh my god i thought like people were, like oh i gagged and i cried like i just thought people were being wimps i thought no it'd be absolutely fine i did not know they stick it up your nose so far like yeah i i did gag when they did the throat one i was like oh my god when she got a star i was actually like but anyway and then the nose one i thought they literally just went like there i, I thought the picture they just showed it like there and uh, no joke i think it reached here i thought that was bad like to like stick things right up your nose but and i thought i'd gone over a nosebleed and it was horrible the nose bit was the worst i'm on the train home and my bookers like ring me and they ring her and she like waits for me to tell her all about my experience and then she's like you're confirmed i was like tearing up on the train like you guys don't understand how badly like i wanted this but now this one thing's in the way this covid test is in the way so i've got like everything so like everyone's got their fingers crossed for me that like, it comes back negative so i should know probably like tomorrow or the day after but oh like i'm so nervous i just felt i can't like fully get excited about this until i get them results back because it'll be my luck that i'm like absolutely buzzing and i'm ready and then i'm trying to speak into existence that is negative i mean i don't have any symptoms at the moment but i know people can be like symptoms i'm just like overthinking it massively now and the nurse like proper went for it like honestly there was no holding her back she just absolutely sent it up my nose <sighs> Oh, I'm so excited. If I get to walk this show, and this show is going to be Thursday, and then there's like a rehearsal, or I might have like a fit or something on the Wednesday, I'll either pick the camera back up in absolute tears, like, because this test might have ruined my entire season, or I'll be at the show. It's like the one time I get this massive opportunity that's like my absolute dream, and it could be stripped away from me like that. I've got just normal work tomorrow, doing e-com. Everyone, I'm currently on my last break at work. So I just, uh, oh my god, I look so disgusting. I've literally had to wear hair on it all day. This literally makes me like I've been dragged through a hedge backwards because I'm literally just like taking them off, putting them on. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I thought I'd just update this vlog because <sighs> someone's coming. The show I got confirmed for want me to go and do looks after work today if you don't know what looks is it's basically just you have to just try on the collection for like the designer and be able to see it on and model i don't know why i said that weird i woke up at 10 to 5 today and i'll probably be finishing at like midnight so yeah i know i've got to do looks after work today and then my fitting for the show will be tomorrow um probably at like the evening time and then we go to location the day after that and like prep and i think i'm getting my hair cut up and like rehearsals and stuff like that i think and then the show 
is the Thursday. It's currently Monday if I didn't say. But I'm still not saying what the show is because I haven't had my corona test back yet. I'm so nervous. This night is going to be interesting. Hopefully I stay awake. Yeah, I make me have to film because obviously it'll be the collection that isn't out yet. Yeah, I'll update you when I next can. I'm nearly there. Hey guys, it's currently 6am, it's Tuesday now and I am so tired I'm having to whisper because people are still asleep. I'm going to quickly fill you in before I leave. And last night I went to do looks, I got home at midnight which is early compared to the other girls. Because I'm going back today um, at 8am, I was kind of allowed to head off a bit earlier but like I heard the other girls were staying till 5am this morning. Like this is the reality of fashion week and... The modelling industry, we were just trying on like two or three outfits and then they got me a car home which was super nice. And then I had to come home, like I just wanted to go to sleep but I had to pack my case. I look very um, ghostly. I had to pack my suitcase because I'm staying in a hotel for two nights just so that I'm a little bit closer to London and closer to the show location. And then I like showered and washed my hair for today it's still wet because i had it in plaits i caught about three and a half hours sleep so tonight's gonna be fun i've got looks from 8 a.m then i think we've got fittings tonight this is the reality of fashion week and it's usually about 10 times more hectic than this because there's usually so many shows and so many more models i'm gonna leave my camera at home now because i'll be sent hotels and leaving my bags places and traveling around so i don't want to lose the camera but i'm gonna vlog on my phone when i can but of course i can't vlog the looks because you can't take photos or videos or anything where i am but for any of you wondering it's taking place in like the Burberry headquarters all this stuff um, I'm just trying to give you like a bit more like background insight into things. Still super exciting though, I just need to wake up. Just going into my hotel. The sun's shining. So pretty. Hey guys. Oh my god, look at this. <laughs> this sun. I've just realised I haven't really updated you. So I'm finished looks for the day now. Now I'm just free for the day and I've just been like walking around London. And it's such a nice day. It's like over 20 degrees. So yeah, I'm just making the most of the nice weather. And then I might have to head back to Burberry later for my fitting. It's exciting. I'll keep you guys updated. I think I'm going to... Maybe grab some lunch and then check into my hotel and just eat it and chill in the room for a bit. The hotel's super close to Burberry, which is nice. Like, I don't have to travel around too much. Um, so it's just across the road. I'll show you my view right now. So if any of you guys haven't been to London, this is like, I'm in like Westminster area and the River Thames is like just over this like wall. And then the Houses of Parliament are over there. Um, yeah, it's so pretty and green in this little bit. Room tour This little bathroom. It's really cute. A shower, a toilet. Um, yeah, it's cute. Good lighting in there. And then you come through and there's the nice big bed. And a little TV, a little desk area. Um, I think, is there a fridge in here? Is that a fridge or is that a safe? Oh my god, I don't even think that's plugged in. And then we've got a view of the other rooms. Guys, I'm literally about to go to sleep, but I just wanted to explain, also I look like an egg, explain the realities of Fashion Week. My call time for my fitting was 10pm, and then I got there, and there was just so many girls waiting, and I finally got to try on my look at about half one in the morning, I'd say, 1am. And then I literally had it on and I was like, we're going to fit you tomorrow instead. And I'm getting my hair cut at 7am tomorrow. So I've literally got to be up and ready in about three hours. This is the reality of Fashion Week. Honestly, I don't know why I'm smiling. I think I'm just smiling through the pain of being overtired. But tomorrow, I'm hoping I can just get in early and crash. Hey guys, 
guys, sorry I'm just putting my shoe on. So I went and got my hair trimmed this morning. Um, there's not a big difference, but just a little trim. I had a car at 6.30 a.m. to get there. Now I've literally just finished my fitting. And look, my look has changed since last night. Sorry, I'm whispering because it's so quiet in here. And I'm gonna head to rehearsal soon. I'm now back at the hotel about quarter to eight in the evening. We finished rehearsals. It's gonna be like a really different show and gonna be really like interesting and cool. So I'm excited. Sorry, I haven't been able to film much. Like we're not allowed to use social media at all there. They literally put our phones in bags so you like it covers the camera and you can't film or take pictures or anything. Like a greasy mess, which is lovely. Hop in the shower now, get ready for bed and then like crash because the call time's at 6am tomorrow. But yeah, now all set for tomorrow. And it's in a really cool location as well. I actually think I got a clip of it when we were driving in. But it's like in a like country park, woodland forest thing in Slough. I have to wear these high-heeled boots or like some girls have like high-heeled sandal shoes. And we have to walk through like woodland terrain. So uneven and there's like nettles. And I'll speak to you in the morning. It's currently quarter to six in the morning and I'm leaving the hotel now to check out and head to the Burberry HQ so we can leave for the show. Yeah, I'm not sure how much I'm going to be able to film there in case they put our phones in plastic bags again, but I'll try and keep you updated. So I've just got my hair and makeup done and now we're heading to rehearsals. I know this vlog has probably been so disappointing for you to watch but I tried to vlog as much as I could and I wanted to vlog the whole process of like the show day like getting hair and makeup done and rehearsals and that but we just weren't allowed like there was a strict like no social media no filming no photography um rule there so i'm just gonna go through it now because i feel like it's probably been a bit all over the place this vlog i also didn't mention my covid test came at negative i think i got the results the day before the show and i was so happy because that is what was like stopping me getting fully excited i don't know if i like properly mentioned as well the show i walked was burberry and anyone that knows me knows that that has been my like biggest dream um, since I started modelling I've always wanted to wear for Burberry and in particular walk for them so that was like a massive moment for me like it was a super special show and presentation as well because they use a lot less models than they normally do I think there was 59 in total or 49 if 49 or 59 looks in total and they usually have like 140 ish like, i was so grateful to have been like selected to be a part of it it just meant so much to me it was a really cool show it was so different to their normal shows there was like a presentation of these dancers and performers in the middle it was a really cool atmosphere it was in a country park for hair and makeup makeup was just literally super super natural i literally had like nothing on like the look they were going for just kind of like skin i guess and then hair they kind of just like blowed it out a little bit and had like a gentle wave in it and then it was kind of just like at the back thank you so much for watching this vlog it's kind of been like the reality of doing a show and the preparation for a show it's not always that like hectic sometimes it's more hectic but i had the best time so so grateful for that opportunity but yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video